a quick way of improving CW reception. All you need is a speaker on a piece of wire and two hands. Just for this test, I've got white noise coming in from a receiver set to FM. As you can see, the response is fairly smooth over a wide range. That's not ideal for selective CW reception. I will now cut my hands over the speaker and you'll see the difference in the response. That will produce a peak around 1 kilohertz. Better for CW reception. See how the response changes when I bring my hands together to form a resonant cavity. If I cut my hands a bit tighter, I can get the peak at a lower frequency. This peak is around 800 hertz, ideal for CW reception. If we look at the scale, the peak is at minus 30 dB and at 3 kilohertz, it's around minus 50 dB, so a difference of 20 dB. Whereas, if I take my hands off, it's, if anything, higher at 3 kilohertz than it is below 1 kilohertz. So a big difference of 20 dB in attenuation of unwanted higher frequencies. Next thing I'll try to find a weak CW signal. It's around the middle of the day, but there's a beacon on 3699, 80 meters. That's in Sydney, about seven or 800 kilometers distant. And we'll see if we can receive that. This is the beacon. Now we'll see if this handmade audio filter improves reception clarity. And I think it does. It would help further if there was a bit more of a drop off higher up.
Now, if you wanted to cut off a bit of audio around two or three kilohertz, then a simple way to do it is to just put a capacitor across the speaker. Start off with something around 10 microfarad. The higher the value, the more severe the top cut. There's only a slight drop off with 10 microfarad, so a high value might be more suitable. This one's 40 microfarad. And there's a clear drop off with 40 microfarad. This is with 68 microfarad across the speaker. And there's a sharper peak. I'll just take the 68 off again. That's a quick little thing you can do. A real handmade audio filter for CW. If you want to try Morse contacts but have problems with interference from other stations on nearby frequencies and don't have a CW filter then this is a handy way of fixing the problem especially if you've got an electrolytic capacitor to put in parallel with the speaker for further top cut.